Hi guys and welcome to the first video of this entire series where I will be discussing how you can manage Office 365 using PowerShell commands. In this video, I will be discussing basics of PowerShell like connecting to modules, collecting transcript files. I will be showing you how we can manage licenses using PowerShell and how we can manage user accounts. I will be showing you how you can create user accounts in bulk using a CSV file. Before you run any command in PowerShell, you need to connect with certain modules first. Let's say you are going to manage mailboxes or groups for Exchange Online. So before you run any command in PowerShell, you need to connect with Exchange Online module before you run any command. Similarly, if you're going to manage your users, you are going to manage licenses, your mobile devices, or you're going to manage licenses for your organization, or any command that you are going to run for Office 365 Admin Center. For that, you need to connect with MS Online module before you run any PowerShell command, or any command which starts with MSOL. For example, get hyphen MSOL get hyphen msol user or get hyphen msol domain to run these commands you need to connect with ms online module first and to connect with ms online module we use command connect hyphen msol service if you receive an error after running this command which says this cmd let or command is not recognized that means you are not connected with connect hyphen MSOL service. So for that, you need to first install the module. You need to run install hyphen module and then you will type install hyphen module MS online. You will press enter. This will install this module MS online module within your PowerShell. Once it is installed after that, you would be able to run connect hyphen MSOL service. So you can wait for a few seconds while it is installed. So now it is installed and then you will run connect hyphen MS OL service. Press enter. Now it will ask you for global admin credentials for your Office 365 tenant. So these are the basics of PowerShell before you run any PowerShell command. You should be aware of what sort of commands you are going to run and for which PowerShell module you need to connect. So here you will type the global admin credentials of your Office 365 tenant. So now I'm connected with Office 365 admin center. Now I can manage all these options from this PowerShell window. If you want to manage, if you want to manage security or compliance, security and compliance, for that you need to connect with security and compliance module. If you want to manage Exchange Online from PowerShell, you need to connect with Exchange Online module first. After that, you would be able to run all the commands for Exchange Online. Similarly, if you want to manage SharePoint Online from PowerShell, before you run any command, you need to connect with SharePoint Online PowerShell module. And same goes with Teams and for Azure Active Directory and for Intune. So let's go back to the PowerShell and now we are connected. So from here, from PowerShell, as I said, you can manage the entire Office 365 Admin Center. First thing that I want to show you how you can check your subscription uh, that you have within your tenant. To check the subscription or licenses, you will run get hyphen msol account SKU. SKU is a service plan identifier or the service string which is used by Microsoft. You will press enter and it will list all the licenses that you have within your organization. Now here in this PowerShell, you will not see the exact license name. If you go to Office 365 Admin Center, you will be able to see the exact name of the license. For example, Office 365 E3, Office 365 E5. But in PowerShell, you will see Enterprise Pack, 
Enterprise Premium Non STN CONF and SPE E3. If you're not sure what exactly these licenses are, Microsoft has published an article for this. You can refer to that article. I will share the article in the comment section as well. So you can check what does enterprise pack mean. So for my scenario, enterprise pack means Office 365 E3 license. Enterprise premium means Office 365 E5 without audio conferencing. And SPE E3 stands for Microsoft 365 E3. Under active units, you can see the number of licenses that you have. In my tenant, I have 25 licenses for Office 365 E3 license. I have consumed only one. As of now, I have assigned only one Office 365 E3 license to one user. For Office 365 E5, I have assigned three licenses. Warning unit is when you are out of the licenses, you will see here if there is an issue with the license, you will see all the details under this. Enterprise or Enterprise Premium or SPE underscore E3 are the service plan identifiers. If you will check licenses in Office 365 Admin Center, you will see names, but in PowerShell, we can only see the service strings or service plan identifiers. If you want to check more details of your licenses, you can run get hyphen msol account sku and type pipe fl. fl stands for format list. If you want to check all the attributes of a particular object, you can type pipe and then fl. It will give you all the details of the uh, it will give you the attributes details of the particular object. Now you might need this output in a notepad file. You can check this PowerShell output within the PowerShell window as well, but you might need this output in notepad file. So how you can get that get this output in notepad file. Either you can copy it. You can copy it from here and you can paste it in notepad. However, the best way to collect PowerShell output in notepad file is you can run command start hyphen transcript. When you run start hyphen transcript, it will generate a notepad file or TXT file in this location. So if you go to this location. You would be able to see one transcript file here. This is the file which is created. This is a notepad file. Now, if I'll run any command in PowerShell, for example, this one, and if I go back to this location and if I refresh this, I should be able to see this output within this notepad file. Like this. Now, if I will run any command after running start hyphen transcript command, every single output will start collecting within the notepad file. For example, if I run get hyphen msol user, press enter. And let's go back to the notepad file. Let me refresh it. And here I will be able to see this command output as well. You can see the command as well that I have initiated and you can see the output of the command as well. So this is how you can collect a transcript file for the commands. You can collect the output of the commands within a notepad file and you can share it with your team or with your clients or with your uh, team who is analyzing the output. There is another way to collect output of PowerShell commands within a notepad file. And that is you need to run any command, type the command that you are going to run. At the end of the command, type pipe and then type clip. When you will press enter, you will not see the output of the command because the output of the command has been copied. Now you will go to a notepad file and press Control V. So this is how you can copy the output and you can simply paste it on a notepad file. So this is another way to collect PowerShell output within a notepad file. Now apart from this, 
you have uh, we have checked how we can check the subscriptions within our tenant within our office 365 tenant now if you want to check how many users within your within your tenant do not have licenses assigned so for that you can run get hyphen ms all user pipe where hyphen object bracket you will use a switch is licensed space like false and press enter this command will show you how many license in your office 365 tenant how many users in your office 365 tenant do not have license assigned if you want to check how many users in your office 365 tenant has license assigned you can use the same command and instead of false you can type true and then press enter it will show you all the users who have license assigned within your office 365 tenant now if i go back to transcript file i will see this output also within this notepad file and the reason is because i haven't stopped the transcript yet if you are done with the PowerShell commands, if you are not going to run any more PowerShell commands, you can simply run stop hyphen transcript and press enter. The transcript file will stop collecting your commands output. And now if you run any command here, transcript file will not collect this output because we have stopped the transcript. You can come across scenarios where you want to check if services are provisioned for a particular user or not you can check that from powershell as well you can check this from office 365 admin center as well but this can be managed from powershell also for that you will run command get hyphen msol user hyphen user principal name and then type the user principal name of the user for which you want to check if services are provisioned or not. And then we will use switch dot licenses. And we will look for an attribute service status and press enter. So this command will list all the service plans which are assigned to this particular user and which services are successfully provisioned, which services are still not provisioned, which are under pending provisioning state, and which services are disabled. So with the help of this PowerShell command, you can manage, you can check what sort of services are provisioned and what services are not provisioned for this particular user. We can create user accounts from Office 365 Admin Center and from PowerShell as well. If you want to create a user account from PowerShell, for that you will run new hyphen msol user, hyphen user principal name. You can assign a name for this, for example, test1, and then your domain. I'm using my initial domain here. Then you will specify display name for this user. We will specify all the attributes that we specify in Office 365 Admin Center or in GUI. So we will be specifying the same attributes here as well. Then we will use first name. First name will be test. And the last name will be one. And then we will type usage location because we are going to assign license as well for this particular user and then we will use switch license assignment to assign a license and if you are not sure about the license you can run get hyphen msol account sku and from there you would be able to check for example let me copy this command first run get hyphen msol account sku so this way you can check what sort of licenses you have 
Now let's say uh, you want to assign this license, which is Office 365 E3 license. So copy this. And paste it here. And then use a switch to create a password for this user account. And the password you can specify any password and then press enter. So this will create a user account from PowerShell. If you want to verify the attributes for this particular user account, you can run get hyphen msol user hyphen user principal name. You can copy this user principal name that you have created for this particular account. And then press pipe FL and hit enter. So from here you can check all the attributes for this particular user account. If I go to Office 365 Admin Center and if I go to users, I should be able to see test one here and Office 365 E3 license has been assigned for this particular user account. By running pipe FL, you can check the attributes of a particular object. You can run the command and at the end you can type pipe symbol and then FL. By running this, you will get a list of all the attributes for a particular user account. For example, here you can see the display name that we specified while running the command, the first name, last name of the user, the license which is assigned for this particular user account, as of now, the overall provisioning status is pending input. The license is not provisioned yet because when you assign a license, it takes some time to provision the services. So you can wait for some time. And after that, all the services will be provisioned for this particular user account. This is the proxy address, the email address for the user. This is the sign in name with which uh, email address or user principal name, this user will log into portal.office.com or in outlook.office.com or in Office 365 services. This is the user principal name for the user. Now, there is a difference between the user principal name and the proxy address. And the difference is user principal name is used to log in to Office 365 applications. This is your sign-in address. Proxy address is the email address that is used to send and receive emails. For few users, you can see these attributes different. Email address and user principal name may differ for a particular user account. So you should be aware which one is the user account or which one is the email address and the user principal name for that particular user. If you want to fetch details of a particular account or we want to fetch details of anything within Office 365, we use get command. For example, get hyphen msol user. So with the help of this command, we will check the users which are available within our Office 365 tenant. If you want to add certain permissions on account or if you want to assign license, for that we use add command. For example, add hyphen msol user. If you want to modify certain attributes, for example, if you want to modify the display name, you want to modify the first name or last name, or you want to modify the user principal name, then we will use set command. For example, set hyphen msol user. So for example, if you want to modify attributes for this particular account, which is a global admin account, first, Let's check what sort of attributes we can see for this particular account. To fetch the details of a particular account, we can run get hyphen msol user hyphen user principal name, then specify the user principal name of the account, and then pipe FL. With this way, we can check all the attributes of this particular account. If you want to fetch details of all the accounts, then you can simply run get hyphen msol user pipe fl press enter 
this command will give you all the details of all the users that you have in your Office 365 tenant. So this way you can fetch all the user accounts with their attributes. OK, so I want to modify a few attributes for this particular user account, which is a global admin account. For example, I want to modify the department attribute. So for that, I will run set hyphen MS all user hyphen user principal name, then type the user principal name of the account and then specify the attribute name that you want to modify. For example, department attribute. I will assign a value for this. As of now, department attribute is empty. There is no value assigned to department attribute. So I'm going to assign IT in department attribute. So press enter. Let's wait for a few seconds and it should be updated. OK, so now it is done. Let's check these attributes again. Now go to department. And here you can see IT has been updated in the same way. You can change country. You can change first name. You can change last name. If you want to change the user principal name of the account, for example, this one for that, the command is different for that. You will run set hyphen MS all user. Principal name and then you will specify the old principal name, which is the current principal name, user principal name. Like this, and then you will use a switch new user principal name and under new user principal name, you can assign a new UPN. For example, uh, admin at domain.com. I'm not going to make changes for this account because this is the global admin account. So this is the way you can change the user principal name of an account. Let me try this for any other user and let me show you practically. OK, so let's try for this one. Test three. Let's assume that I want to change the user principal name of test three from test three to test four. I have four, so I'll change it to test five. So for this, you will run set hyphen. MS OL user principal name hyphen. User principal name, then you will type the current user principal name. And then you will use switch new user principal name. And here you can type the new user principal name that you want to specify. For example, test five Office 365 concept dot on Microsoft dot com and then press enter. Now let's say you have few users in your organization and one of the users is leaving the organization. So now you want to disable account for that particular user. For example, this one. So to disable an account, you will run set hyphen MS OL user hyphen user principal name, then type the user principal name of the user, and then you will use a switch which is block credential. And we will assign a value dollar two. So by running this command, we are going to block sign in for this particular user account. So you can press enter. And now this account is blocked. This particular user will not be able to sign in using this particular user principal name. This command will run for a user account which is hosted in Office 365. If a particular user is synchronized with your Active Directory, is synced with your Active Directory, you will have to make all those changes within your local Active Directory. For a synced user, this command will give you an error. After that, if you want to delete a user from your organization, for example, I want to delete this particular user. To delete a user, 
you will run command remove hyphen msol user and then we will use a switch hyphen user principal name type the user principal name of the user and then press enter it will ask you do you want to continue with this operation click yes now this user is removed from active users if i run get hyphen msl user i will not see user a user a was available within active users and now we do not see user a in active users because we have removed user a from active users now user a account is within the deleted users state in office 365 there are two states for user accounts one is active user state and the second one is deleted user state if you delete a user from active user state that user will go to deleted user state and there it will be retained for 30 days to check the deleted state you can run get hyphen msol user hyphen return deleted users and press enter it will give you a list of all the users which are currently available within deleted user state of your office 365 tenant as of now i have only one user which is user a that i just deleted now you can restore this user account within 30 days if you do not restore the user account within 30 days the user account will be purged and you will not be able to restore it to restore the account you can run restore hyphen msol user you can restore the user account from gui as well from office 365 admin center as well and you can do it from powershell also to restore the user account you will run restore hyphen msol user then hyphen user principal name type the upn or user principal name of the user and then press enter this will restore the user account and it will move this user a account from deleted users to active users if i run get hyphen msol user which is used to check the active user accounts i should be able to see user a in this list now now let's see i want to purge user a account when i say purge purge means the user will be purged permanently or deleted permanently. If user account is purged, we will not be able to recover it. Now, how do you purge it? For that, you will run remove hyphen msol user, hyphen user principal name, type the UPN, and then delete it. This user will go to deleted user state. Now, to delete the user account from deleted state, First, let's verify if this user is within deleted state. Get iPhone hyphen MSL user hyphen return deleted users and press enter. So this user is within deleted user state. Now, how we remove it from deleted user state? For that, you will run remove hyphen MSOL user hyphen user principal name. Type the user principal name of the user and then type hyphen remove from recycle bin recycle bin is used for deleted user state then press enter and click yes now this user has been removed permanently if you go to return deleted user state you will not see this object here if you run get hyphen msol user you will not see user a in this list now you can come across scenarios where you want to create users in bulk. So we can create user accounts in bulk using a CSV file. I'll show you step by step how you can achieve this. So for that, you will first create a CSV file. You will open Excel file and then you will specify the columns and rows with the values that you are going to define for the user accounts. And the CSV file will be, for example, we want to go with first, first name. We need last name for the user. So first we are going to create a CSV file. Then we will assign a user principal name. 
So here we are defining the attributes that we are going to use for the user accounts that we are going to create. Then we will use display name. And we use license as well. And then we will use usage location. When you are assigning a license either from Office 365 Admin Center or from PowerShell, you need to specify usage location as well because usage location will define in which data center this particular user account mailbox will be provisioned. That is why we use usage location with the license. So here we have specified first name, last name, user principal name, display name, license and usage location. So these are the attributes. Now we are going to assign values. First name for this user will be test2 or test. Last name will be 2. And user principal name will be test2 at Office 365. Dot on Microsoft.com. Display name will be. Okay, we will leave display name. I will show you another way that we can use display name. We will combine first name and last name, and we will collect, we will combine these two attributes to form display name. Now we will assign license. For license, we will run get hyphen. MSOL account SKU. And we will check which sort of license we are going to assign to this user. For example, I will assign this license. Paste the value. Usage location will be India as for your country. Then I will specify the second user that I want I want to create. I'll copy this and paste it here. Test three, same license. So like this, you can create users. If you want to create 100 users, you can specify the values and as per your requirement, you can create multiple users using a CSV file. So as of now, I will be creating only three users because the process will remain same for three or 100 users. OK, now the next step is to save the file. We are going to save this file as CSV file. I'll go to the location. I'll go to C drive. And I will save it here with CSV. This option CSV comma delimited and press save. OK, so this is going to save in documents. OK. All right. Now let me go to the documents. And it's here. Let me collect the path of this file, which is this. And let me paste it in notepad file. All right, so now I have the path and now we are going to create a script because we will import this CSV file first. With the help of this CSV file, we will import the users in our Office 365 tenant. So for that, we will use a script and the script will be import hyphen CSV file. First, we will import this file in PowerShell. We will specify the path and the path is this and then we will use the command. And the command will be for each hyphen object new hyphen msol user first name 
now we are going to mention the attributes that we have specified within the CS within the CSV file. The, so the first attribute is first name. So the first name will be taken from CSV file and the syntax will be dollar underscore dot first name. Make sure you are typing the name of the column that you have specified within the CSV file. If you have typed first in CSV file, make sure you are typing first here. It should be this. It, it should be the same attribute that you have specified within the CSV file columns. Else, CSV file or uh, the script will throw you an error. So the second attribute is last name. Similarly, we will specify last name as well. Underscore dot last name. Third is user principal name. You can copy it from here as well. Hyphen user principal name. Let me maximize this. And then dollar underscore dot user principal name. And the next attribute is license. Hyphen licenses. dollar underscore dot license and then usage location hyphen usage location dollar underscore dot usage location in this script we are going to use one more switch which is display name And the display name will use the values from first name and last name. So how we are going to combine these two values? We will use dollar bracket dollar underscore dot first name bracket dollar. So we are going to combine these first name and last name and it will form the display name. Last name. And that's it. So the script is ready and let's run this script here. Press enter. The string is missing the terminator. OK, so I believe I haven't specified a colon here. This one. Let's try again. OK, so here you can see all these three users has been created. This is the random password which is created for the user. All these three users. This is the user principal name, display name, and the license has been assigned as well. Same can be verified from Office 365 Admin Center as well. If you refresh this, you should be able to see test two, three, and four users. So here are the users, test two, three, and four. Office 365 E3 license has been assigned for all these three users. So this is how you can create users in bulk using PowerShell command or PowerShell scripts. In next video, I will be showing you how we can manage domains using PowerShell commands, how we can manage and assign administrator level permissions to the user accounts. I will be showing you how we can manage password policy, managing user account passwords, and how we can manage directory synchronization using PowerShell commands. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.